Some time ago, I did a review on a product from Uberlieben known as the Tinder Wick and Bellows, and I gave a demonstration on how well that works for lighting fires. Makes a great addition to any fire kit. I have one video where I am demonstrating the use of the Kelly kettle, and I lit the Kelly kettle with that, and people asked constantly what it was, so I gave a review of it. Well, Uberlieben has upgraded their Tinder Wick and Bellows, and what they've done is they brought it out in free, no extra cost, in a small aluminum slider can so that you can build a fire kit. You don't have to go looking for a tin like I had with my original version. Now they include a tin with you and that gives you the option of building a fire kit all in the tin that comes with the Tinder Wick and Bellows. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to reposition the camera down a little bit so I can give you some close-ups of this and what I have in this small tin so far. I mean I've just started to build it up as a fire kit but it's working well as it is so far. So let me reposition the camera. So here is a close-up of the tin, and with the Uberlieben Uber symbol on the side of it, it is slider tin, it's not a hinged one, so let me just put the top aside. Now, uh, just a comment right away, it is made of aluminum, so it's not something that you will be able to use for making char with, but it's certainly something that you can keep little pieces of tinder in, as well as your tinder wick and bellows, and a few other items. So what do I have inside of it so far? I have a Bic lighter, because no fire kit is complete unless you have a Bic lighter in it. It is, and as you can see, I can have an elastic band wrapped around the uh, trigger on it to keep from losing any of the fuel. Put that aside. And I have the tinder wick and bellows, of course, which I'll demonstrate for you again in one moment. Let me put the tin aside. And what's ideal for carrying in this is another product from Uberlieben, which is their three inch version of their Hexa. They have a three and an eight inch version. And I did do a review on the eight inch version of this. I like the fact that it has flat sides. People will debate whether or not it produces more sparks than a round-sided one, and my thinking is, yes, it does. As long as you can keep your striker flat to the surface, you're going to produce more sparks than a rounded one does, at least until the rounded one starts to flatten off. But let me demonstrate again how this works. So to work this, you just simply push the, I like to give it a turn as I do, the wick forward out of the end of the bellows and it's already charred because I've been using it. In fact, I lit my fire for my lunch today with it. Now, you do need to fluff that up. So there's a, a couple of ways you can fluff it. I often just reach down and grind it against a stone, or you can just take the end of your striker and do the same thing. I think the stone is more effective myself, but this is working. Make, you know, spend a second or two to get it fluffy, and it's, you greatly increase your chances of, there, yeah, that should do, of getting it lit. Take it, lay it against your striker, or right on your striker, like this. Take your ferrocerium rod, find a nice clean side, line her up, and lighter. And there we go. So now I have flame on a tinder wick, and the wick, of course, is soaked with a, well, they use a proprietary paraffin on a jute rope, but you can see how well it works. It's quite resistant to the wind, and this will give you an extended burn time, like a little piece of tinder that you can put into a fire bundle to get it going, especially if it's a little bit suspect and you're not quite sure it's going to light right away. You can give it the extra boost using this, and it works very well. And this length, you can buy spares, and they sell spares of three in a set. Well, last last for quite a long while. When you're finished, pull it out from your from your fire kit, pull it inside of the bellows, and it's out. Now you're ready to put it away for the next time. All right, just a short video demonstrating the Tinder Wick and Bellows once again from Uberlieben, and now in its new small compact, nice looking little slider tin that you can build to a small fire kit for yourself in. Yeah, it's a great little product. I'll leave links for it in the show notes below. And if you have any comments on this, of course, or on anything else, put those in the comments section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.